Chelsea Fire Department presents Fire Safety Prevention. Hi, my name is Omar Fermetta. I'm a firefighter on your fire department, Chelsea Fire Department. I've had the privilege of talking to your children uh, for the last 10 or 15 years about fire safety and how to keep themselves safe. And one of the most important messages that we've talked about is developing right now over my head. It's what to do if you ever find yourself in a place that's filling up with smoke. Smoke always behaves the same. Smoke goes up. So the safest way, the safest place for you to be is down low. So smoke goes up, so you should go down. As I go down, you can see that the air is a little clearer down here. I see you a little better. It's not great, but it's a lot better than up there. So if you're ever in a place that's full of smoke like this, chances are it's going to continue filling up with more smoke. There's no time to waste. Smoke goes up, so you should go down. And by going down, you go all the way down. Down to the floor on your hands and knees if you have to. You find the nearest exit and you go right to it. You make sure that door is not hot, you open it to get out, and you never come back in. Hola, me llamo Omar Frometa. Soy un bombero en tu departamento de bombero, Chelsea Fire Department. Por los últimos 15 años he tenido el privilegio de hablar con tus hijos en la escuela de formas de mantenerse sano en casos de emergencia. Una de esas emergencias lo ve que se está produciendo arriba de mi cabeza. Es, yo hablo con ellos de que si se encuentran en un sitio que se está llenando de humo, qué hacer para mantenerse sano y salir. El humo siempre se porta igual, el humo sube, por eso que casi ni lo veo y ustedes casi no me ven a mí. Pero si yo bajo para acá abajo, pues ya ven que acá abajo el aire está un poco mejor. No está perfecto, pero está mucho mejor que allá arriba. Si usted o su familia se encuentran en un lugar que se está llenando de humo, el humo va a seguir. Entonces ustedes tienen que ser lo correcto para poder, sal, poder salir y ayudar a su familia a mantenerse sano y saludable. Y esa acción son bajar hasta el piso, gatear, si tienen que gatear en la mano, en la rodilla, encontrar la puerta de salida más cercana y con apuro salirla donde ella, siempre tocándola, asegurarse que no esté caliente y si no está caliente, por ahí mismo se podrá salir. I've spoken to children at schools for 10 or 15 years about these topics and it's my belief that they come away with knowledge that can perhaps keep them safe or save their life. The first thing that I want to talk about today are matches. Matches are tools, just like any other tool, that have their purposes. Some of those purposes are um, birthday candles, barbecue grills or campfires. The important thing to know about matches is that Adults use them. Children should not be touching matches. Um, that's really the most important rule. You don't touch them. If you see them on the ground, you don't step on them, you don't kick them, you tell an adult and the adult will know what to do. Do not touch matches if you're not an adult. The next thing that I'd like to speak to you about are lighters. Lighters are used for a lot of the same things that matches are. Birthday candles, barbecue grills, campfires, um, maybe some other things that adults use them for, but that is the important lesson there, is adults use lighters, not children. Matches and lighters have the same rules attached to them. If you see them on the ground, do not step on them, do not kick them, you can tell an adult and the adult will take care of it. If you step on matches or kick them, 
you can cause that to start a fire and hurt somebody or hurt you. So it's very, very important that you understand. Do not touch matches or lighters. Do not step on them and do not kick them. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is um, makes me kind of sad to talk about it, but I have found them on the street. I have found them in playgrounds. I've even found them outside of schools. And I'm talking about needles. Needles are used to take medicine. And some people need medicine and they use needles. However, sometimes people don't always throw the needles away or they drop them and they'll be on the ground. If you see a needle, it has the same rules as matches or lighters. You don't touch it, you don't step on it, you don't kick it. You can tell an adult, you can wave to a fire truck or a police officer and they'll come and take care of it. Do not touch matches, lighters or needles on the ground. They're not safe and they can hurt you in different ways. Hola. Mi nombre es Omar Frometa y soy un bombero en tu departamento, Chelsea Fire Department. Hoy vengo a hablarle a ustedes de unos temas muy importantes, de los cuales yo hablaba a los niños en la escuela por muchos años, pero hoy lo voy a hacer virtualmente en cámara. Eh, la primera cosa que quiero hablar es de fósforos. Fósforos son herramientas hechas para adultos. Son necesarios algunas veces para prender velas en un pastel de cumpleaños o para prender una barbacoa. Lo más importante de los fósforos son que están hechos para adultos, no niños. So, si usted no es un adulto, no toque fósforos. Algunas veces puede que lo encuentre en el suelo, no los pise, no los patee. No los toques. Los fósforos están hechos para adultos. Lo próximo que quiero uh, hablar es encendedores. Los encendedores tienen la misma regla que tienen los fósforos. Están hechos para adultos, no para niños. Y también si están en el suelo, no los puede pisar ni patear. Si uno patea o pisa los fósforos o encendedor, puede causar un fuego y te puede herir a ti o a otra persona. Muy importante, no los toques, no los pises, no los patees. Los fósforos y los encendedores están hechos para adultos. Y lo último que quiero hablar es otro tipo de herramienta hecho para adultos. Um, que lo he encontrado bastante en el suelo afuera, lo he encontrado en um, los parques, lo he encontrado hasta en la escuela, son inyecciones. Las inyecciones se usan para tomar medicina. Y bueno, no hay nada malo con eso, pero algunas veces a la gente se le olvida botarlo en el zafacón y lo tiran al suelo o se le cae y las inyecciones tienen las mismas reglas que tienen los fósforos y los encendedores si no eres un adulto no lo toque no lo pise si está en el suelo y no lo patee simplemente se lo puede decir a un adulto y el adulto vendrá y el adulto sí va a saber qué hacer con eso pero si usted no es un adulto, no los toque. Hello, hi, my name is Brian Bermudez. I work for the Chelsea Fire Department and I want to go over some equipment that we wear uh, when we go to, uh, when we respond to an emergency. So, when we get the call, we all go downstairs and we all put on our, our bunker gear, which is our pants. The boots, our specialized boots, they have is what they call a steel toe boots. They're very hard and they protect our toes.
Next is our hood. It's what we call the hood. This protects our head, our ears, and our necks. Then we have a jacket, protects our arms, our chest, and our backs. Now, when we respond, we have what we call an air pack. This protects us from from bad uh, air and bad smoke when we go inside the building. Now what you're going to hear next is me turning on the air pack. And that's the sound when you get when you know the air pack is on. <clears throat> Helmet to protect our head and gloves to protect our hands. This is our tool that we walk in with. Now, I want you to understand that when you see us like this, do not be afraid. We are there to help you and get you out into safety. Okay?